Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I hope you enjoyed the speed shuffle for your convenience. Let's jump into this reading, Taurus. Your person, the overall energy from spirit that's coming into this a message is activation. Spirit guardian of spring. There's something that you are supposed to really look at and try to grow. It looks as though when I look at the overall energy that you have had both a transmutation and a transformation in a relationship and spirit is calling on you at this time to actually work on new growth by transmuting old problems looking at them differently trying to put them in a language that you can understand the person that you're dealing with and and you know transformation just downright rebirthing of a relationship now coming into the relationship the bottom of the deck energy was pretty profound Taurus here you are in your reading that is a Taurus you know you're very much in love with your person your person's very much in love with you you have a great deal of passion you have a lot going for you in the relationship that's winner winner chicken dinner you know you the two of you are a powerhouse together the two of you want to make it work and yet in the relationship you often feel alone and that is the energy that both of you bring in now when we look at how your person this is their thoughts their feelings their intentions and their actions okay so when we look at their thoughts they feel as though you have emotionally betrayed them by not listening to them they definitely feel as though you really give a lot to the relationship your person, you know, thinks that you bring a lot to the table, that you, the two of you could have everything that you could possibly imagine, great happiness. Your person really thinks in terms of long-term commitment, Taurus. It's absolutely true. The Ten of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. We see the, the husband, the wife, you know, the married couple, however that resonates. We see a dog, which is all about being loyal to each other. We see the yellow, great happiness and joy we see the red we see the passion we see the blue we see two people who are logical calm and you really can work this out but Taurus your person really thinks that you are denying the value of the relationship or what it could be by not listening so in their heart space that it's beautiful energy ten of cups happily ever after you have been the person that they love the most they feel as though they are most at home with you that you've brought them the most happiness that you have a good intellectual rapport with each other but in their heart space they're staying aloof they're staying aloof because they don't know if things are going to actually work out they feel as though in their heart space they feel kind of threatened here the ten of swords is betrayal not being listened to these two energies are marriage energy so we can see that your person feels and thinks that the two of you could have an absolutely stellar relationship but when push when it comes right down to it they don't have the confidence in their heart that you're really going to choose them that you're going to bring the passion to the table that you're going to really emphasize the positive they think you emphasize a negative so Taurus, they really feel, uh, I think, unsupported by you. They love you very deeply. You, they want this to work. But there is a feeling of almost like we have everything we need. Why can't we make this work? Why don't I feel safe is what your person is saying. When we look at their intentions, they have fire in the belly. They want this to work out. The eight of coins are willing to do the work they are willing to take their chances on love they feel as though timing could be everything i also think that maybe you know there's a lot of work there's a lot of issues maybe around work because we see this nine of wands fire in your belly so there may have been a lot of stress related to that but your person really feels very much taurus that this is 
a relationship that can be very successful. They have lots of fire in their belly. Their intentions are quite good. They're hoping for kind of a lucky break, for some good timing. They really want to, you know, get to understand the situation better with you. So they're really in it to win it. And when we look at their actions, we look at them healing. It looks like they're in a state of physical and emotional fatigue. That may or may not have anything to do with you. Some of it has, of course, some of this has to do with you, Taurus, because these cards are very, these are sort of one, two, three, four. These are cards of uncertainty, which would undermine most people. However, you know, both of you want this relationship or so it seems. What I get, here you are, Taurus, right there. Here you are, the King of Pentacles energy. Now, the King of Pentacles energy really speaks to the fact that your person feels, um, you know, their actions are going to be that they share most of what they have with you. You know, this is a Honey, I'm Home card. They want this relationship. They want a new beginning in this relationship. They want things to work out, but there is some healing work to do. We're going to clarify these, this reading with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Oops, a little bit hard to shuffle here. Brand new deck though, beautiful deck. Okay, so let's see what we have. Why do we have the energy of the Ten of Swords? Okay, your person feels sometimes that you juggle them. They feel that they're that you're not really you don't have their back is what it is. I don't think that they feel that you have a lover, but there is a feeling that you might. Whenever you whenever they feel ignored, whenever they feel as though you are not really paying a lot of attention to them, they do jump to the conclusion that you may have manifested a relationship that is secretive. The magician card keeps secrets, right? They don't tell the, they don't show their tricks. They don't show their hand. But what it does speak to is that your person always thinks when things go start going sideways, they are afraid of uh, emotional betrayal. Why is the Two of Swords here? The Two of Swords is a star card. Aw, Taurus. Your person feels as though you don't see who they really are, and yet you do. This person that you're dealing with, Taurus, is a rock star. They are a star. They have so many talents, so many gifts. But when you ignore them or when you don't really sort of support that in a very tangible way, in a very overt way, your person does feel as though you just don't see who they are, that you may take them for granted. They are a rock star, though. You're very lucky to have this person, Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles, why is it here? Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Wands. So your person is very fiery and very passionate about their goals in life. Um, you know, it's sort of like anybody who tries to stop them from reaching their goals or having abundance is not a person that they would really want to interact with very much because we get the Death card on the King of Wands. So your person thinks that you know you definitely are very much married to the concept of teamwork in a relationship and that if you don't have that they certainly think that they are you know that that they'll just be fun for you that you wouldn't take them seriously but the nine of cups really does speak to the fact that they do really love you, they do have fun with you. When things are going well, they go very well. But it does look like you have very different ideas about career, marriage, what does that look like, how does that spell out. But the two of you really love each other, okay? It, you really, really love each other. So there's some miscommunication. There's, I think that you, the two of you are very different in the way you process information. You both could look at the same, say you both saw an accident, and you both have a very different um, takeaway as to what happened. So I feel as though different viewpoints get in your way. The Three of Swords looks like a division and heartbreak based on the fact you don't understand each other. 
The Ace of Cups is clarifying the Ten of Cups in their heart space. They do want a new beginning in love with you. That Nine of Cups is like they really want to have that fun with you. They want to have everything that they had in the earlier part of the relationship. I do feel that this is probably a relationship that's gone on for a long time. Could be a marriage. Could be two people living together thinking about commitment. But we have the king of swords as clarified by the strength card how beautiful is that taurus it means in their heart space that they can be detached and cool and sometimes it seems like they're not really very engaged with you but they always are the strength card says that you really have them you know you have their heart you have their attention that is leo energy it's very proud it's very fiery uh, passion is something the two of you enjoy in this relationship and it's very important for your person to have that experience with you because your passion for them says to them in their language their love language is passion equals love so let's look and see what we have for the two of wands why is this two of wands here in their heart space why do they feel like they might be forced with a decision i get the high priestess okay so Taurus, what we're getting here is we're seeing you, they feel as though you're very secretive. And so in their heart space, when you get quiet, they get quiet. So what we see is that the energy that they have is they think that they have to keep their options open or they think that you may be keeping your options open because you're not really perhaps as affectionate as they really crave. Let's see, the High Priestess here, why are, the, why are the two of you so sort of secretive with each other? Oh, Ten of Cups, look at this, perfect success. You have the Ten of Cups in two different places. Look at this, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups. You person adores you, Taurus. This is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you know, as much as as your person tries to appear aloof they aren't aloof they're very engaged with you that's you know that lion is a pretty possessive and jealous lion too but it looks like the two of you are kind of you play a little bit of a head game with each other it's almost like when you feel secure the head games begin so you know that's going to only be for one or two people but I do feel as though it's detrimental. The two of you love each other so much. Whoa, Taurus. So this is what has to be transmuted. This kind of communication, this kind of diciness, you know, you need to be very much in this growth spirit where you're activating the love continually and not leaving anything to doubt, okay? So that would be my advice for you. So let's see what their intentions are. So we see how much they love you. We see what they think of you, Taurus. The Nine of Wands is their intention with you. Your person feels very much that you are in abundance. How gorgeous. We have the Three of Cups. They really intend, they love the friendship that the two of you have. They love the, you know, you two might party together, you might go out together, but look at this. They are intending a traditional, long-term, committed relationship, but that's so clear. It's, I mean, the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups twice is unbelievable with the Empress card, with the Taurus King of Pentacles, so very much Hierophant energy Taurus here you are yet again you're in your reading three times so what do we have for the eight of coins we have great strength the nine of wands again fire in the belly for the relationship is this where the okay so the nine of wands was here I can't remember quite where where but it's here somewhere but your person has fire in their belly for this relationship. They want to go the distance with you. That is their intention. Their intention is when the timing is right. What is it that they're waiting for, for the timing to be right? We get oppression, letting God, their guard down. Ah, that's really wonderful energy. Because the two of you, in your own way, because of your fears, your individual fears, it does make the relationship oppressive and it doesn't have to be you really love each other but both of you are carrying this burden and so when the timing is right the two of you will release it 
So your person really intends to try to make things better between the two of you, working on things on a day-to-day -day basis, Monday through Sunday, trying to really see what they can bring to the table, taking a wait-and-see attitude, okay? Looking at things from a different perspective. So let's see what their actions are going to be with you. The Ace of Coins with the Taurus King. He's holding a big, a big coin there. So it looks as though your person will make an offer. The Ace of Coins is thought to be the engagement ring. And we did have the Three of Cups. I believe it was under here. Whoops. <laughs> I have to go hunting now. I, I, oops, okay. I know it's the Three of Cups is in here somewhere. So it might be here. Yes, here it is. Three of Cups, Ace of Coins, Engagement Set, just so you know, okay? There are different um, combinations that are necessary in the tarot to bring something to fruition. Engagement is one of them. Pregnancy is another. For the Empress to be pregnant, she must have the Ace of Wands around her, adjacent to her. Otherwise, she's not pregnant. She's just manifesting. Okay, so a little tarot lesson, a little aside there. So the moon card is really telling us that when both of you feel antsy, you know, you both sort of rush into each other. Great energy. I love that your person feels as though they're going to make an offer, a substantial offer, Taurus. And when they feel in doubt, they, you know, when they ever, whenever they feel insecure about anything, it's like, honey, I'm coming home, hold me. It's very sweet. It really speaks to the fact that your person's willing to be vulnerable with you. We have the um, Nine of Pentacles. So I feel as though both of you have been single and ready to mingle. And I feel as though you're both very attractive, but your person is choosing. They want to heal from whatever's happened in the relationship. They want to feel stronger and better about themselves. So that is going to be part of the healing process in this relationship. They are going to build up their security uh, in terms of how they feel in this relationship, the Be Fool card is very clearly a new beginning in love. We have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. And so that Fool card is coming after the period of healing, the Four of Swords, twice here. So, you know, sometimes when we don't know each other very well, we just wound each other and we don't even know it. So I really like the reading for you. This is an absolutely exceptional love relationship. The two of you, I think, are very different. I think the way you process information is very different. But I feel as though the, that you are, you and your person love each other so much. And it's just very important and vital for you to recognize that and put that above all else. All difficulties, all ego-driven kinds of insecurities. And I think you are transmuting it. I do think the transformation will be complete probably in this spring. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and let me know if you like the format, if you like the way the reading is presented, or if you have any suggestions. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.